Uh, hi everyone. Um, this new Brain EP, it's not good. Brain is supposed to be literally the brain, or rather it's an alternate persona, of rap game Seth Rogen, Little Dicky, who you might remember, I didn't really care for his recently released project, Professional Rapper. In fact, I thought it was one of the most long-winded, cringy, and unfunny records to come out in a long time. And if you remember one of the most long-winded and obnoxious tracks on that entire project, Pillow Talking, Little Dicky actually has a, a rap style back and forth with his brain. And now that brain character has returned with an EP of his own. Of course, Little Dicky is featured on pretty much every track here, even like the skit, the brainstorming skit. And yeah, it's it's seven tracks, it's 20 minutes. And it's pure hell. Uh. How do you make an entire EP based around just your bad singing voice? Like this is how I would sing in the shower if I was trying to make myself laugh. It don't sound good. And is it supposed to be funny? Is it supposed to be funny? Is this funny? Brandon even got a dick. Why your bitch looking like she working shopping raw? Where I know you from, I see you, I'm just struggling to place it. But I'm waiting for the joke. Cause clearly there's a tone of, you know, comedy here. Like he clearly thinks what he's doing is funny or at least he thinks it's a bit tongue in cheek or, you know, a little cheeky. Because it's certainly not charismatic or charming or I guess kind of electrifying in the same way that um, most any other rapper's music would be. Little Dicky just kind of inhabits this weirdly awkward middle lane between these beta tendencies and mainstream rap manliness. It's like wimpy college bro humor at its most potent. What we're listening to is clearly as much a novelty act as The Lonely Island, and yet we're treating it like it's competing with every other serious rapper out there. But it's not like we haven't been here before. Like what we're hearing here isn't altogether different from like back in the day when Azure Roth was rapping about liking college, but at least that was listenable. I also got the neck so long like a draft, sucking titties like a calf, when a few rounds like a draft. Okay, all right, we're, all right, thank you. Thank you. Never even done cocaine. I never even done cocaine. I never even tried it. Never even tried it. Never even tried it. You know I lie. At least it's just in his regular bad singing voice. <sighs> You're really about to do a song here about how you haven't done cocaine? I just don't. Uh. I was just sipping Chris Brown. She keep on sniffing at Zeus. I keep my eyes on the ground. I love how she's sniffing the Zeus and then he had to ad lib Coke because the, the song is about Coke. We know what you're referencing. Like as a child, I was so dismissive of the baked potato till I tried that shit. Not a baked potato with my favorite kind of potato. Now she got me. Ah! Like Why? 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 Why not do some meth? It might just be like when you didn't want Brussels sprouts as a kid and now you like those. Not a baked potato is my favorite kind of potato. Number one, mashed potatoes are better. They are. And number two, I want to enjoy this thing, but there's no point of view I can apply to it that would make it enjoyable. Do I take what he's saying seriously? I can't because what he's saying is stupid. Do I take what he's saying as a joke? I can't because I don't think it's funny. And it's really corny. In fact, just as corny as any Hobson record, except it doesn't come with a stupid ideology that he's trying to preach to you. Instead, he's just kind of, in a weirdly predatory way, taking advantage of the fact that he knows that his audience has these tendencies of being a little wimpy, they want to be in the crowd, they want to party, they want to have fun, but they're not the alpha. I wish I could be a fly on the wall of a college dorm room inhabited by a Little Dicky fan when he goes to unironically play some Little Dicky for a girl that he has in there, only, only for her to Turn around, turn around and leave. Cause you know somebody's gonna do that with this F slow song on here. I feel like I'm listening to somebody who wants to be the center of attention and wants to be the class clown, wants to be the funniest guy in the room. But the only way that he knows to go about doing that is by delivering jokes that are all kind of at the expense of his own Dignity. Hey, I'm smashing eggs on my head and pulling down my pants and oh, I pooped myself. Ah! When really honestly, like a song about being afraid to try cocaine, a song about having an issue with girls fucking too fast on your dick, it's just really pitiful. <laughs>
<laughs> it's really sad. I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. There's more to being self-aware than consciously shooting yourself in the foot in front of a crowd of people and when they look at you and think, wow, that person's stupid. You internally think to yourself, yeah, I knew it was stupid. I knew you were gonna think I was stupid, okay? Well, I, I feel like after hearing these vocals, how can Little Dicky fans really sit here and act like he's got some kind of access to some sort of talent or he's like at some kind of execution level that no other artist is at or that he's like somehow going to be stepping to the legend status of like a Tupac or a Kanye West at some point? Because imagine this scenario. Oh, you kids, all you listen to today is trash. You don't listen to any good music today. Back in my day, we had real music. Listen to this. Let me fuck slow on you, girl. Let me fuck slow on you, girl. For something titled after a brain, it's pretty goddamn brainless. Also, and if you could bring up the, the vision of this thing, this character, this, this thing, like the character design on this thing, the CGI character design on this thing is hot garbage. It looks like the mascot for some kind of, I don't know, memory enhancement pill that they might advertise during primetime on CNN. Like this little guy might walk out and try to sell you some ginkgo biloba. This thing is unlikable on all levels. The little crappy voice is crappy. The lyrics are just wholesale corn balls and cheese balls. Like man, the, the, the corn ball cheese ball emporium is having a liquidation sale and everything must go. <laughs> corn balls and cheese balls, 70% off, 80% off, 90% off. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, that brainstorm skit is so crappy. The game feature on the last track is pretty decent. And I certainly admire the production quality and the instrumentals on this thing. Whoever was kind of behind that certainly had a lot of attention to detail. And when you're talking about most mainstream rap today, like once the instrumental is great or at least decent or at least trendy and on par with much of everything else that's out there in the field, more than half the battle is won. Like, 70% of the battle is won. But this whole foundation is just being built to support uh, just a really awful joke. And I'm not really sure what to say about it beyond that. I mean, listen, maybe I'm not one to talk. I have had uh, my history with a really bad alternate persona, but Jesus Christ, this was hard to listen to. This was hard to sit through. This is hard to even continue thinking of. So I'm just going to end it right there. Uh, this new Brain EP, it's not good. Oh, Zishin, have you given this EP a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best. You're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like. Please subscribe and please don't die. Just stay hydrated and eat your fruits and veggies instead. Over here next to my head is a review of Little Dicky's Professional Rapper. You can click on that. Please do. Or you can hit the link to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one forever.